Ghana State and I am in from University of Science Malaysia. Today in this video, I am going to demonstrate how to operate France diffusion cell for carrying out experiments such as skin permeation or any other experiment that require yeah, permeation of a dosage form on the skin. So, to carry out this experiment, we need apparatus that include uh, France diffusion cell itself. The cliff, we need grease, we need a uh, small magnetic stirrer, we need thermometer, and uh, we need the uh, operating chamber for the France diffusion cell to function properly. So, uh, the first test is going to be an application of the grease on the France diffusion cell. So, after cleaning the apparatus, drying them properly, then you position them you position them on your working bench then you uh, take the cuff and try and apply grease gently use a spatula take a small portion try and apply the grease properly careful not to touch the material i need to be very careful because we don't want the grease to be at the center otherwise it will interfere with the uh, with our sample so having applied on the cap then we also do the same on the the main france diffusion cell see it's the earlier portion that i have taken that i'm still using to apply on both surface so after applying a thin layer then we gently uh, position the two compartments together so that the, the grease will be will be evenly sef uh, uh, separate across the two compartments. So we gently rotate, rotate clockwise. Yeah. So now it is well positioned. So having done that. Then we now apply our membrane. So our membrane depends on which type of uh, test are you going to do. Some may require using a natural skin of animal, a cow or any other skin membrane. Some may require synthetic membranes like what we are going to do in our own case then we now position our membrane on the surface of the france diabolition cell so be careful and try and make sure it is at the center so when it is carefully positioned then we now put the upper compartment we already labeled this with number three so we try to match the calf also so that the number three will be at the same position at the same axis from the lower compartment here we go so this is our donor compartment and this one the below one is our receiver compartment so having done this then we use this clip to to stick the two compartments together so that it won't separate during the experimental process so we try and position properly try and be careful so that the membrane should not be affected so if you look for the own what you can see that the membrane is it, it doesn't fall because we don't want any a kind of a squeeze inside the receiver compartment so having done that then our trans diffusion is ready so the next process is to add in the magnetic stirrer we have magnetic stirrer here the small one so we is carefully inserted from this narrow tube here by inserting it is now in the compartment so having done this then we are going to use a wafer that will be receiving our formulation that we are testing in the receiver compartment. So we already mark the cell with a label 
to let us know how much volume of the buffer we need to add in so this one we keep it first properly we keep it in position then we withdraw the buffer in this case we we already prepare our prospect buffer we are going to use um, a syringe syringe with a two to uh, facilitate withdrawing the solvent and transparent into the front they are pushing cell easily so we gently withdraw in the buffer we are going to use a 5 ml so we we'll try as much as possible to withdraw around that around that 5 ml then we now insert in the tube carefully uh, so we try as much as possible to make sure that the tube reach the main part of the cell. You can see that this is the arm, the arm of the prans diffusion cell. We will not restrict the tube in the arm alone. Rather, we push it until it reach to the main compartment of the cell. So in this case, after inserting the tube in the cell, then we embed we try and embed the the tube so that to avoid uh, entrapment of any air bubble because if we put it in the upright position there will be chances of entrapment of air bubble and that is what we don't want because it will interfere with the uh, mean uh, permeation of our product so we gently press in Press in well the, the the syringe where we rotate it carefully, so that we won't give a, an air a chance to trap in. We don't want any air to trap in the membrane in the cavity. In case if it get trapped, I see we to remove it. So. Before we reach our calibrated uh, foin, we want to remove the entrave air because we have, I have noticed there's some entrave here. So we try to remove it first before we continue. Hmm. Yeah, so by just tilting the tube, the entrave air is removed. So we Further add in the remaining, uh, the remaining volume. Approximately 33 minutes or so, we are able to achieve the 37 temperature on the uh, plus diffusion cell. So now we are ready to add in our sample. So we already uh, keep our stopwatch that will help us uh, record the time we begin with the subsequent sampling. Then we add in the sample now. We, our Sample volume is going to be per hundred microli, per hundred microliter. You can see from the people. So I'm going to throw in the sample. Then I press in the starter. Then immediately add in the sample in the donor compartment. The sample is added in the donor compartment. So now our sample reading will begin. The buffer that we are going to use to replace the sample we withdraw, it shall be inserted in the water bath so that it, the, the buffer shall be in the same temperature with that of the uh, donor compartments of our first diffusion solution. 
So what we do, how to sample, we have our micro pipette, we already uh, set in the volume to withdraw and we, add, we, we attach the teeth on the uh, pipette and we add this too this to help us uh, diff it inside the arm of the press deposition cell. So before we diff in, it's advisable to first press in, press in the micro pipette, then insert in the tube. Then we release, we release the air and push back, we release and push, we release and push. Then the third one we withdraw. This is just uh, to kind of uh, uh, make sure that uh, we have a uniform sample that we withdraw in the membrane. Push, push in, push in up to the end, then we withdraw in our sample by then we in our samples then immediately we replace with the buffer we repeat we we attach the fresh teeth here and we take our buffer that is at the same temperature with the sample we withdraw exact volume 200 microli the same volume as the one we withdrew earlier and we add in into the receiver compartment gently we push in the volume and that's all